I'll show you guys my first signature. My first few tries as I have my signature with my left hand because I'm right handed. So I'll be writing with my left hand now for a while. And I've decided after my break, like after I get the cast off, um, say if I'm writing an essay or something, I'm going to I'm gonna write like one paragraph with my right hand, then, then the other one with my left hand, and then like switch it off every now and then as often as possible so I stay ambidextrous because that's kind of cool to have like two working hands. When I was little, I drew with my left hand or something. I used to do a bunch of nail art. I just realized my nails don't have anything on them. This is the first time in months I haven't had anything on them for over like three days. Wow. Okay. Well, I used to do nail art all the time, and they were, like they were really detailed. And I have really little hands, but I I did it on both hands, like on every single little finger. I would draw little flowers and little like designs and everything. I would do it. Um, I would like put on my eyeliner on my right eye with my right hand, and then I would do my left eye with my left hand. It's, it's kind of, it runs in my family, like it's, it's normal for a lot of people in my family to be able to use both hands, so I think I'll be good. So I had my straightener, and you have to, you, you can only really straighten one side with using the opposite hand. You can't be like this, and so I can't really straighten my hair with um, my left hand, it's hard. It still hurts, my, my hand in general hurts because my tendons, you know the little the little strings you can't really see that yeah there we go I'm wiggling them so those are my tendons they run all the way down like think of it as like a guitar or something the strings in a guitar and then you snap the back of the guitar forward which is basically like you know up like that um, you stretch the tendons so my tendons are very sore because they're stretched and it makes it made my hand into like a this position and I can't I can move them way more now but um, I can't make them straight I can do that much. That's really good compared to what I did before. But um, they're kind of stuck in this position because of the way they were pulled. Yeah. Like whenever I text someone, I've been using voice control on my phone. So I like I've gotten so used to being like, wish I was a good example. Um, this is a like, random thing. I don't know. My plants are really healthy. Comma. Are yours healthy? Question mark. Like I do that all the time. Like I, that's what I have to say into the phone so that it knows punctuation. So, and then sometimes I'll like be speaking into it, and there's some background noise, so it doesn't hear clearly, and it'll say something that's absolutely not what I said. So, it's frustrating. Like I, like my first two days were the worst. I was crying like all the time about not being able to text because everyone was asking me things and I had to talk to people like all my family members are like are you okay F friends are like are you okay so I had to be like yeah I'm good I just can't text so stay epic everyone I'll see you guys later bye